So I'm gonna wear a little bit of makeup only because I have serious eye bags. I'm just gonna put on makeup that is above the mask. So my eyes, my eyebrows. Samara Beauty sent me a package. They're Bronze Balm and the Brown 1980. Their products are clean, cruelty free, and vegan, which is great. And they come in this cute little gold packaging. I've already opened these, but I like to repackage things for no reason, so they're back in their package. But we have this beautiful gold packaging, and I got this in the shade Leo. So opening their product right now, and you have the bronzer balm. And it looks like this, easy to apply. And I just apply it to my forehead and my cheekbones to contour my face. And if you're wondering how it looks on my skin, I don't use a lot, and it rolls on very nicely. I really like these because it's very easy to just carry in my bag. They also gave me the brow. Again, cute gold packaging. And honestly, when I opened this packaging for the first time, I was so confused because I thought that the product was in this one, but it's in this one. So you open it, this is the wand, and this is the product. Put these on my eyebrows very quickly. And they also sent me this card, which was super helpful because if you're new to the makeup world like I am, I was kind of confused as to where I put the bronzer and it just shows you where to put it on your face. So I put mine on my forehead and my cheekbones because obviously the mask is gonna cover everything else. And when you purchase 40 or more dollars on Mara Beauty, you receive free shipping as well as this reusable corduroy bag. I use this not just as a makeup bag, but as an emergency bag as well. So for today's trip, I'm just putting my sunscreen and of course my Mara Beauty bronzer and brows. Click my link in the description box to add a discount to any Merit Beauty purchase and thank you so much Merit Beauty for these goodies. Now let's get back to the video. Usually the night after a study session, I email my professor about any questions I have while completing the assignments. So I start my days answering those emails and doing admin. Next week is midterm week, so my professors have sent a lot of emails about midterm prep and other updates. After about an hour or two of that, I update my to-do list in Notion. I basically move any incomplete work from the previous day to the current day. This usually consists of a chapter quiz or a lab. Once all that is done, it's time for me to work on some assignments. I 
I've changed my study schedule as of late because the courses I've registered for this year have been kicking my butt, which is okay, it's completely fine to change up your game plan according to the course load, but now I work on one or two courses a day rather than complete a couple of hours of work on all my assignments. I've tried this out for about three weeks now and I like it a lot. It helps prevent me from being overwhelmed and allows me to focus on the task at hand. I end up completing a week's worth of work from one class in a couple of days. This is my newly updated schedule. Everything is color-coded according to its course, so it makes it easy for me to see how much needs to be done for each class. On Mondays, I dedicate Java programming, scripting tech, and accounting together since I attend in-person classes. Tuesdays are for psych and accounting. Wednesday is for psych and Java programming. Thursday is Java and scripting tech. And Fridays are for catching up or moving ahead. My assignments are due Sundays and Mondays of the following week, so I have a couple of buffer days in case I need a break. I was gonna text you. I was gonna be like, Raina, make sure you text me saying you're coming so that I don't like. I texted you, you just didn't look. Oh. <laughs> oh, you did text me. It says, just got out of class and said, no, I'm saving this. I like how my ruler is still. Oh, you know, no, I, you, I use it. I use it. I just put it back in the sleep. <laughs> Why? You could just scare it. I know. Like, it's a cute little. It's not a case, but like. I like to think of it as. Okay, Raina. No, no, you're not shaving the turtles. You don't see writing fast. I don't. This was what I took yesterday when I was in class. And then when you look, this is my aesthetic nose. Yeah, mine's just all black. I never call it I was looking over there for a table, but like they all took it. You know what's annoying? It's going to be one person at a six person table. I'm like, um, just get a cubicle. A table? I do all the time. Pretty nice. Mm. You can never take it off me. Don't shake it, it's gonna be hard to blur out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. Yeah, I like it. I gave you. I know you gave me one. You know, I'm just that close. Oh, there's my, there's my sweater. We're in an empty classroom. Teacher sick, skipping days. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm, just, I'm gonna edit that I'm out. Just <laughs> Anyways. I mean, she is sick, she said no message. Yeah, so your name's right now. She's like, the oh. moment when I close my eyes, all I see is when I I'm gonna go get something to eat with Reyna. I'm probably just gonna get something to drink. It's currently 2.35. I'll see you guys when I'm ready to study. Wait, are we doing it on the same order? Might as well. Do you have milkshakes? Do you have ice cream? No. Okay, I'll do the milkshake, please. Could I get just the cherry? Just the cherry. Is that possible? Could I get a medium waffle fries, please? Medium fries, what else? That's it. Thank you. Got a milkshake, uh, fries, and a spoon. Polynesian sauce. I actually don't like ketchup with my fries. That's nasty. It's not That's nasty. how I knew I it's couldn't. It's innovative. I can't trust your opinion. It's unique. It's currently 3.31. We have until 5 p.m. because another class, well, technically we have until like 4.50 because there's another class coming in at five. So we need to be out of here by 4.50. I was asked a question on Instagram about any tips for freshmen in college. While I've already given my answer, I think that it may help other students as well, so I'm going to repeat the answers here. I follow these five tips whenever I started a new semester, but the first tip is to make a habit to print out and read the syllabus. Ideally, you want to get this done during the first week of school so that you come to class with questions. Your professor will think you mean business, and it helps you get a sense of what to expect in the course. My second tip is to sit in the first two rows of the classroom. This gives the impression that you're engaged in the lesson, and you also 
also find yourself surrounded by disciplined students. The third tip is to stay after the lecture is over. You'll notice that there are a handful of students who stayed behind for help on the assignments. You should stay behind because the student could ask a question that you never thought of, or the professor could give really helpful information that will help you succeed in the class. Fourth tip, which ties into the second tip, find yourself a study buddy. I have at least one study friend in each of my courses because in case you miss a lecture, you can call on that friend for help. Try to surround yourself with students that are serious about their education because you'll eventually get in that same mindset as them. Remember, this is a mutually beneficial relationship. If they need help as well, help them out. Fifth and final tip is to get in the habit of scheduling your assignments early. I like to schedule my assignments with a two to three day buffer period. And if you follow the schedule, you get free time to relax. I have more tips such as befriending upperclassmen and having a game plan for each course, but these were the big five that I follow each semester. I'm not getting it. Are you not? No. Why not? Um, I can't afford it. Oh, same.